So I'm finally set up here on the islands. I set up the tent. So let me tell you a little bit about what's going on. I've come here to this beautiful national park uh, just off the coast of uh, Galicia. For me, this is the best place, the most beautiful place in uh, Galicia. I came here this weekend because this weekend is the last one for, open for camping. After this Sunday, you are only allowed to come here for the day and not for too long. I think just two or three more weeks. So this is pretty much uh, one of the few days of uh, the season. This place can get really crowded, really packed in the summer, but today is perfect. And this weekend, tomorrow, it's going to rain the whole day so I don't expect a lot of people uh, tomorrow. Today is a beautiful day, the temperature is perfect, it's a little bit windy but it's very very nice. There are at least three lighthouses on the island, I'm gonna visit all of them. The longest hike is four miles round trip so I'm gonna have plenty of time to do all of those hikes. I'm gonna go to two of them uh, right now, it's uh, 7 p.m. Uh, I have less than two hours before uh, sunset. I'm gonna be here for a while so I'll be telling you more things about this place later on. For now let's just do that hike. So there are three main islands here, that's the southernmost one, the other two are connected and that's where I'm staying. This is my fourth or fifth time at this, uh, on this island, it's the first time I'm here as a photographer though, so I kind of, everything is kind of like brand new to me because I see it in a different way. Also, I think I'm just gonna be wearing my hat for the rest of the weekend. It's not that cold, but it's very windy and my hair is uh, very, very annoying.
right, so the sunset was a little bit ruined because of uh, some clouds. There is still half an hour more of daylight, but I don't think there is gonna be any light for photography now. As you can see, everything is uh, very dark, but I'm gonna go ahead and call this the best sunset in Spain. I know there are plenty of good spots for sunsets, but I'm gonna make it official. This is my favorite by far. There are a few Spaniards who follow and watch this channel, so please share your favorite spots for sunset. I have to put another layer on because it's freezing now. It was a very nice day, I wasn't expecting a sunset like this because as I said the forecast for tomorrow has a ton of rain so I thought that today was going to be a little bit cloudy. I think this is just the calm before the storm, calm because it's very windy, it's gonna be much windier tomorrow, there's gonna be gusts of up to 45 miles per hour. I have to make sure the tent is not gonna fly away. Now I'm just gonna wait around here until they turn on the lights of the lighthouses because that's uh, what I'm looking for tonight. I don't have unlimited time because the only place on the island that serves dinner closes at 10, I believe, and I don't have any other food with me. I have snacks, but they are not enough for dinner, so I can only be here for so long. All right, you can't see it from here, but the light is uh, finally on, on that lighthouse uh, down there. I'm still waiting to see if they do the same with the one that is farther away. It might be already on, but it's still uh, too bright outside, I don't know. I'm trying to protect myself from the wind a little bit here because it's freezing cold. I don't want to get sick the first day. I have two full days left here that I want to take advantage of. So I'm calling it off. I'm not going to that other lighthouse because there are some clouds in the background and that ruins the image. I just hate the clouds like that. But that other lighthouse I just came from, the big one, it's looking pretty cool on top of the hill now. And I took a few shots and I think that you can see the beam of the light. I will make for a good image. It is so much nicer down here. It's warmer, it's not as windy. But yeah, I have to keep going and get to that restaurant. Hey, welcome to my house for the weekend. I'll show you around. This is my bed. 
and this is the living room it's all a mess but i've been uh, trying to charge all my batteries i have uh, external batteries uh, one big one for the camera batteries and i have another one for my phone so it's awesome to be able to charge them at night i am very tired i'm ready to go to bed it's almost uh, midnight i'm waking up tomorrow around seven that will be tomorrow now i need to get some rest to be ready for that thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one